Hello and welcome to the first video in a three-part video series covering the registration process at Dalton State College. Over these three videos we're going to take a look at how to find out who your advisor is, how to find your CRN numbers or your course reference numbers, and then finally how to register for classes. So in this first video we're going to take a look at how to find out who your advisor is and contacting your advisor to plan ahead for future semesters. So to get started, we want to go to daltonstate.edu, and you want to scroll over the Quick Links menu in the top right corner. When you scroll over the Quick Links menu, you'll have several options you can pick from, but we want to click on the one that says Roadrunner Portal. You also want to pay attention to this Campus Directory option, as we're going to come back to this in a few moments. But for the time being, go ahead and click on Roadrunner Portal and log into your Roadrunner Portal. Once you log into your Roadrunner portal, on the left hand side there's going to be a students link that you can scroll over. And when you scroll over it, it's going to give you several options again to choose from, and you want to click on the one that says DegreeWorks. Now DegreeWorks is a feature that we use at the college to keep track of all the courses you've taken, what courses you still need to take, as well as things like your planner and your GPA calculator. So it should look something like this. And when you go into your um, uh, degree works, the first thing you want to check is that your major is correct. So if this major listed here is what you intend to do, then you need to uh, continue on to the next process. However, if this is not the major you want to do, this is an old major or, or you're wanting to change your major, you need to contact your advisor to see how to do that. And so to find out who your advisor is, if you um, look down your degree works a little ways, you'll have several options here, the student, ID number, classification, and then there's your advisor category. So this student's advisor, his name is listed right here. So this would be the person you would want to contact. Now, if um, your, your advisor may be somebody listed different here, so whoever your advisor is will be listed right here. Now the other thing you want to check is to see that you have no holds on your account. So holds are things that are going to prevent you from being able to register possibly. To double check your holds, if you look under this holds category on your DegreeWorks page and it's clear, that means you have no holds on your account. However, if there's something listed right here, that means there is a hold that's going to prevent you from registering. If you have questions about that hold, you can contact your advisor, which would be listed here, and they should be able to help you with that. So let's move on to see how do we find out um, our contact information for our advisor. So we're going to go back to the main webpage, daltonstate.edu, scroll over quick links, and now we're going to click on Campus Directory. From Campus Directory, we're going to select Faculty Staff Directory, and then we're going to input that person's name. So we looked at our degree works, we found our advisor's name, now you can type it in right here to find out the rest of their contact information. Now you can also search by school if you're looking for a faculty member or a teacher or a professor or anybody like that. You can also search by department if you want to if you're looking for the tutoring center or the writing lab. Uh, so any of these options can be used to search but since we know the advisor's name we're going to go ahead and put that in right here. Now when you search for it it's going to pull up that advisor's full detailed information. So we see the advisor's name, we see their location, this is their office location, so Sequoia Hall, room 127B. We also see their contact information, their phone number, as well as their email address. So this will allow you to contact your advisor, or at least have access to all of their contact information. Now you can also click on your advisor's name here, and this will show you their detailed faculty webpage. On their faculty webpage, they may have their office hours that they're usually in during the um, school day, so that if you wanted to visit them in person or you wanted to stop by, you can see their uh, regular office hours right there. They may also have some other important information such as forms or links or things like that that you might need to use that are located on their website so you can click on there and view those as well. Now once you contact your advisor you want to work with your advisor to help you plan um, for the upcoming registration term. So usually when we work with students advisors would look at your degree works and this is a screenshot of a student's degree works here and you want to work with your advisor to see okay based on your degree works what classes do you need to take in the future terms and so a lot of times advisors will work out a progression chart to help you see each semester what you should be taking now this is just an example prog progression chart that I've created here but we can see based off of this the student is currently taking biology 1107 the next class they would want to take is biology 1108 and so as an advisor, we would work with you to help you plan out what semester classes you should be taking. Now some guidelines to follow when doing this, always follow the prerequisites for courses. 
And so, for example, the prerequisite for Biology 1108 is Biology 1107, meaning that we could not take 1108 without having completed Biology 1107. So always follow those prereqs. The same is true for like this pre-calculus to calculus, or English Composition 1 to English Composition 2, or Chemistry 1 to Chemistry 2. These courses are the prerequisites for the courses in the following semester, so we have to follow those. You also want to consult with your advisor if you make any changes to the progression that you and your advisor work with. So sometimes changes may not have any kind of effect, but sometimes they might prolong graduation, or they might make it to where you have to take summer classes if you still want to graduate on time. So always consult with your advisor if you are thinking about making changes to your progression chart. And when you do make changes to your progression chart, always update your plan as you progress through it. So sometimes life happens. You may have to drop a course. Uh, if that happens, you need to change your plan so that you're accounting for that drop in that given semester. So in doing this, you're ready to follow up on the next part and actually look up your classes to see what times and days and what CRNs are available there. So when, you have, um, when you've met with your advisor, you'll have an idea of what classes you're going to be taking in the following term. And you want to also have something to write your classes down on when you actually start looking them up. Now, your advisor may have this schedule template. You don't necessarily have to use this one, but this is a, a tool that a lot of advisors use here on campus. And you can contact your advisor to um, request that you get some copies of this form, or if they don't have it, they might know where to, to find one for you. So in the next video, we're going to take a look at actually how to look up CRNs for these classes that have been approved by the advisor, and we'll take a look at that next. Thank you very much.